Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're going to be troubleshooting a large water cooled package unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So here's the control panel. The customer's complaint is that only one of two compressors are running and we're going to troubleshoot as to why that is. All right, I just dropped the set point to 50. It was 72 in the room. Let's see if our stages kick on. This HC takes care of an elevator mechanical boom. All right, we got 12 amps on this compressor. So that's actually running. Let's see what's going on this one. So no amps on this one. Got the gauges on the system that's running. We got a 225 head with a 50 pound back. This is slightly low on the refrigerant. But why is the other one not kicking on? All right, I got the gauges on the other compressor. 200 head with a 50 pound back. Slightly climbing. Nope, making its way down. We're at a 45 pound back. All right, that makes sense. So across our coil, it's not energized. So no amps on this one. Let's double check our thermostat to make sure that we're calling for both stages. So here's your terminal block. This is our Y1 and Y2. Y1 is uh, first stage cooling, Y2 is second stage cooling. So between R and Y1, we have 24 volts. And between R and Y2, it's point, point 0.7 volts. That's pretty much nothing. So stage one is actually an open circuit because we have 24 volts. It's actually the second stage that's running, but stage one is not staging. Let's see if I jump out R and Y I1 to see if this starts. All right, so now between that one, we had before we had 24 volts, I just jumped it. Now there's zero volts, now there's something else that's holding us out. Could have locked this out here. What is this? What kind of relay is that? Is that a lockout relay? Oh, right there. Just kicked in. Just kicked in. All right, we got 12 volts. And our pressure is already below 50. This is R22. So. So pretty much what's going on here was that it's the thermostat. The thermostat has dropped all the way and it's not calling for the next stage. And at the same time, we are low on the refrigerant on this circuit and we are low on the refrigerant in the, net, in the second circuit. It's two separate circuits here, two compressors. And this thing is actually making like a terrible sound. They are both running now. It just wasn't getting the call. So we are at 11 amps. Pressure is somewhat coming up. Maybe there's some kind of slight delay somewhere here. Then be through the board or something like that. But yeah. I have some questions. Is this even wired back here on the next stage. Just pull it out. Y2, yes. And Y. This thing loose or something? Why is this? No, it's pretty good. These batteries look terrible.
it is wired and we weren't getting the call and the stat was dropped all the way down to me right now this is a bad stat but there is a way that i could make this work all right so we're back up and running and that's because we have it jumped out with the white jumpers right here so pretty much we're not getting a call from the thermostat so i would start by replacing that and one little trick that i just want to explain real quick what could be done is that since one stage is calling which is weird it's actually stage two that's calling stage one doesn't work from the stat so what we can do is rewire this so that coming off y2 we energize both compressors and like that we will be able to keep both circuits running but these units need attention i want to get rid of this jumper right now because this thing is running at low pressure we need to recover the refrigerant pressurize it with nitrogen search for the leak repair the leak and then get that unit back up in line at the same time i would replace the thermostat and the other circuit is actually low on the refrigerant too slightly low but you know this thing is super old could be from people taking on the gauges a million times over the years but it should be checked we will know with a micron gauge for sure if this thing is leaking but that's pretty much how i would, I would handle this uh i would replace that thermostat and then work on as to why these these two circuits are low on refrigerant and that's about it this is my service call and uh it's time to go home and do what we do best go home and grab the remote because my show is waiting for me <laughs> so if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time